Right, so we'll start off with, uh, obviously it's a, it's a charity football match, but can you just talk us through exactly what the event is and sort of when and where it's happening? Yeah, we've got it on the 18th of July, a 2pm kickoff at Bamber Bridge Football Club. Uh, tickets are on sale at the moment as well. Uh, we've got um, Le- Lens 11, that's made up of a lot of um, ex-footballers. Uh, and then we've got TV All Stars. That's people from all the soaps and different TV programs as well. Uh, and you just mentioned there that there's going to be some form of, you know, professional footballers. Uh, there's going to be some special guest managers and some actual like special guest soap stars on the day presenting the trophy. Can you just name a few of them for me? Yeah, we're going to have to- we're going to have Tony Parks. That's um, going to be guest manager on the day. Uh, Stephen Elliott from Elliott from Preston North End. Uh, Colin Andrew will be the captain, and then you've got Kevin Gallagher, uh, Billy Keane, Accrington Stanley. Um, oh, we've just got a, a, an all host of people, you know. Um, that we've got even got Chris Samba down and uh, Mark Atkins. So we've got um, some big names down there on show. Uh, and Lara said it's, it's a charity football match, um, and I believe there's four different charities that have been represented on the day. There is, yeah, the four that uh, I've done a lot of work with in the past. Uh, we're thinking about this one being my last game, so I wanted to represent them all. Um, so there's uh, St. Catherine's um, Hospice, East Lanks Hospice, and then Glen John Rose Trust. And uh, the other one is Sporting Memories that I got involved with um, about 12 months ago. Uh, how long have you been, you, you mentioned this is going to be the last one, how, how long have you been running sort of events like this for? Oh, it'll be 27 years now, 27, coming up 28 years. So we've got up to, yeah, well, I, I'm not going to pack up because we've got to three quarter, over three quarters of a million. I want to get up to a million pounds before I pack up, so yeah. if I can. Um, I mean, this year will probably be one that's been different to the other 27 or 20. Um, obviously, COVID's delayed this game twice, I think now. Um, what's the new date for that? Yeah, 18th of July, um, we're going going far on that one. Uh, so we should be a pretty uh, big sellout, I would have said. You know, it's, it's going to be one of the first football games that's happening in the area. Uh, this charity football match isn't just for sort of raising the awareness of money. It's kind of just helping these charities get back on their feet because COVID's kind of you know, damaged a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about getting them back on their feet. I'm not going to. I'm only going to touch the the top of that, really. But the awareness as well is a big thing that we can get out to people um, about the dementia, um, about the auspices, and um, with the lens trust as well is another one that's very important that people don't seem to know a lot about. And there's there's a lot, um, there's a good chance for sort of supporters and fans on the day to to meet some of the players as well after the game, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. You come along, meet up all the players, get photographs with the players after the game. Um, sorts of different people come along, like the Coronation Street boys, Ollie Oates. Um, we've got Emmerdale. We've got, and then we've got little Billy. Uh, the electrician from DIY SOS, and then uh, Peter Gunn's coming along to present the trophy. For, for, he's from Coronation Street, Brian. So we've got just just um, loads of things happening on the day. That's uh, that's going to be a, a top day. And these boys aren't gonna, just going to shoot off after. You know what I mean? They're going to make sure people's got their photographs and autographs and uh, have a have a good day that they've paid to come in to to do. And to top it off, you've got some some of the guys from BBC Radio Lancashire coming down as well. Oh yeah, you've got Andy Bays. Andy Bays is a top guy. Um, nothing too much to rule for him. And uh, Stephen Law's another one that's exactly the same. He's been involved with a lot of of uh, games with us. He does a commentating, but he just takes it to another level for us. Um, and then we got um, Graham Liver. That's uh, Graham's always uh, willing to be involved on things. He played the last game as well. So there's three of them there that are good fun, you know. I went with Colin uh, to Glasgow uh, to visit um, Fernando Rickson, 
who used to play for Glasgow Rangers. And he was in the hospice and he had the um, multiple neurons disease. And um, he couldn't talk, talk, he couldn't move, but uh, he'd lost a lot of weight that he couldn't recognise him. But he still had a smile on his face, uh, led in the bed in the hospice. And I was so chuffed that he'd let, he didn't know me and he'd, uh, he'd let me come in to visit him. And, uh, and that's what keeps me going, them sort of people that's got the, they still have the positive right to the very end. Um, you know, same as Len, John Rose is another guy that's uh, always happy whenever you meet him. So um, until you meet all these sorts of people and get involved with these sorts of things, you don't really know anything about it. And then you, you, you meet them, you think, I've got to do something for these people. I've got to get involved. And uh, that's what it's all about. I was going to pack up uh, doing the charity work. And then when I went up to Glasgow, I thought, no. Every time I meet, every time I, I meet somebody in that sort of a way, I think I've got to do something. Right. I, don't, I don't know why, but um, there we go. And just to finish it off, obviously it's Lens Eleven against the, the Soap Stars. Um, how long have you known Len, and, and how did you meet him? I've known Len about actually, three years now. Um, yeah, about th it'd be about three years. I can't exactly remember where we met him, but uh, he's come and done different uh, things. He come and did an event for me uh, down at Blackburn Rovers, one of the uh, Blackburn Rovers in the community awards evenings down there. And um, he, he, you know, if if he can do things like this, everybody should be able to do a bit of something for, for one of the charities. You know, um, especially at the moment. Thanks for that, Tony. Hopefully, all being well, we'll you know we'll get to the 18th of July without another move day. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of uh, celebrities yeah. and the charities as well. Um, we're yeah. going to be speaking to them and posting them as well over the next few weeks, so I'll help push this um, this yeah. event out. So if, if people want to get involved, they can they can find the Facebook page, can't they? Yeah, yeah. If you find the Facebook page, the Lens Eleven, and then uh, there's a link on there to buy the tickets. Um, and, and also, we'll, I'm still looking for match sponsors and player sponsors. So we've got Ainscore Crane, uh, Ainscore Training. That's uh, always been a big part of what we do. And we've got um, the Dressers Arms at Wheelton that uh, uh, have put everything into it. You know, and they're struggling themselves at this time. Uh, them sort of people. But any, anybody that can come forward and. and make a difference and stewards we're looking for if some you've got some stewards somewhere that can come along and give a couple of hours of the time towards the charities that would be fantastic we'll feed them on the day as well 